Marvel has been going through some changes in the last weeks and months. Now there is a new Avengers coming out with his name being changed to Doomsday. Robert Downey Jr. is apparently the new Doctor Doom and apparently Marvel's been canceling films left and right. Personally, I've been kind of burned out on superhero movies as a whole for a while now. But I wanted to see Deadpool of all things because I know that they're not going to be concerned with perverting pre-existing IPs and pushing agendas and etc. Deadpool has always instead been pushing how much they can address unapologetically and how much fun they're going to have while completely destroying the fourth wall to make jokes cut even deeper. I was surprised though that they, that they let us, you know, go <laughs> as, you know. <laughs> Hard R. Um. Half the time I felt like I was watching a South Park special with how little fucks were given to say the things that everyone's thinking but nobody wants to say aloud or at least not in any professional capacity. It's refreshing to get something that's just honest and just rips to his heart's content. And all for our enjoyment. Let me repeat that. Our enjoyment. You know, for the fans of filmmaking and superheroes alike, not that strange alienating stepmother that thought she could step in and arrogantly take the reins of something sacred that existed fine long before her. Ryan Reynolds has fought for this movie to get made right, and on occasion, you might remember seeing headlines here and there of him sticking his neck out. So will this do much to make me look forward to more Marvel mo- no. But what I will look forward to are the specific and passionate people who are fighting for a vision that's not whatever phase four was. Even though it sets up some nice things that could possibly be taken off with, I just don't trust anyone else to give the same kind of genuine care and love for the material they're working with. Deadpool and Wolverine is the diamond in the rough these days. This wasn't just some formulaic, safe, godless hash from Disney Plus Ackle shite. Whoops, how did that get in there? Deadpool and Wolverine is something else. It's a fever dream, a passion project, a love letter for the love of filmmaking and the history of superhero movies since the very first X-Men. It reminded me of Spider-Man No Way Home with how it was handled, where passionate fans of the genre and the history are the ones behind the movie. It has this ruthlessly cheeky self-awareness akin to a South Park special. It's stock full of Easter eggs, connections, and out of left field cameos that left me wanting more from characters that I'd never seen before. It had even shown some love to scrap projects that have barely been seen beyond some quiet rumors. Even the newer remakes get some mention. It manages to incorporate a lot of references and connections, possibly leaving the door open for some characters and ideas, while giving sure closure to others. I liked the first Deadpool quite a bit. It was bursting at the seams with personality and potential, with a practice and restraint and budget. The sequel was a much bigger budget, but I felt it was more akin to a Family Guy special with its lenient use of gags and cameos as jokes. The third has got to be my personal favorite right now. It feels like a full-on fever dream most of the time, like we're seeing some passionate artists who are fans of the superhero movies coming together and making something they themselves cherish and want to share with the world. Those kinds of experiences you want to share with everyone else. You want to feel that laughter and that warmth and the emotion in that room. Deadpool's jokes all hit and land like a comedian taking the stage to say something that no one else has the balls to say. The writing isn't the most complex thing ever, but it's creative and it has a lot of fun with the scenarios they've cooked up. Sometimes it feels like watching a wacky comic play out right in front of me like I mentioned before. Plus, there's some legitimately funny as hell interactions throughout the whole movie, with one of my personal favorites being the skinning scene, or just the scene that gets a follow-up in the end credits. The first third of the movie is probably its tightest, very smoothly setting up the premise with momentum and an engaging editing and story sequencing. The Deadpool movies have always been known for their memorable title sequences. In the middle, further in, the pacing changes and it kind of feels like we're just hanging out with the titular characters through the many shenanigans and situations they get themselves into. The final part was pretty fucking cool. No spoilers, but this is probably where the fever dream really comes into play. Forgive me for my wording, it's kind of a bro fantasy. It's funny, this movie feels like the underdog Avengers movie. It's Deadpool, so of course the plot is built around the self-awareness. The story is simple enough. Deadpool is chased by a timey-wimey organization who are controlling the destruction of certain timelines and multiverses that even Deadpool is tired of hearing about at this point. He and Wolverine end up being tossed into a void universe, which is essentially a Mad Max world of references and cutting room floor material. This is where they meet a bunch of other cut characters from other projects, and this is where a lot of creative scenarios and team-ups come together, and the rest of the movie just feels like this fever dream of a comic book come to life on screen. Didn't know I needed epic Madonna music until till just now. The visuals are clean with complementary color schemes throughout the sets, costumes, and environments. The 3D helped a lot too. 
making subjects, effects, and their colors contrast from the backdrop without becoming complete visual noise. Going into this review, I really wanted to stay away from spoilers because there is so much in this movie that's just a real treat to go and experience for yourself. If you made it this far into the video, I thank you greatly. Please leave a like and subscribe. I hope you guys are having a great day and I will catch you guys next time.